Welcome to SageX3 Quick Video Tutorials. Today's topic is how to set up an ADC label print destination. So the topics that I will be covering today are how to define a destination, where can we set a default print destination, how to use a template destination, how to enable an entry transaction for label printing, and product report code assignment for label printing. So let's take a look at this uh, following topics in Sage X3. So I have um, a version 12 image uh, seed folder. Uh, so let's begin by uh, looking at the uh, for topics that I just uh, mentioned. So first, uh, how to define a destination. So the destinations can be defined under setup, destinations, destinations. So for a label printing, we need to have the output type of the destination set to printer. So here I have selected um, a print destination called imprim and the output type is printer and then the server is print server has been selected, printer is uh, selected as well and number of copies too. So since I don't have a label printer uh, installed on this image, I'm just using the OneNote uh, just for this demonstration purposes. Okay, so once the destination has been defined, next I need to, um, I, there are several ways that we can set up a default destinations. So one of the methods is under the report dictionary. So it's under development de, uh, script dictionary reports. So the report that I'm using is the demonstration labels report ETIQ01. So this report um, dictionary has a field called destination. So this field when you assign a default uh, destination, that destination will be used when printing that report. So for example, if I use this printer, then when I print that report, that, that particular destination will be used. So this is one method that you can define a destination. And this is also will be helpful when you are troubleshooting um, a destination issues. So you would know in which uh, places that we can set up destination. So this is one place. Another place is uh, the setup destinations and destinations by users. So here we can assign a destination like for a report. We can assign a report code and a destination by user. Uh, so we can assign one report or several reports and the destinations. Uh, or we could also use um, like a template user, like a ADC user, and then use that destination on the user um, setup. That means like once you have a destination here by user, and that and that user we can assign to a group of users. So for example, if I go back to setup users and users here. Uh, let's say you select a different uh, user, ERP user, and under ERP user, you can define a user destination. So the admin user that I have selected earlier can be selected for other users. And then when that user logs in and prints an ADC uh, label using ADC receipts, then that this particular destination, which is what which was assigned to that um, uh, user, will get uh, used, right? Um, so let me just cancel that. And if you don't want to use that template user, you could also assign your destinations under default destinations section. Okay, so this is the. Uh, a uh, third place where you could assign a default destination. And finally, there's one more place that you can assign, which is under ADC.
des define the destination. So here you could assign the label destination and the document destination. Okay, so we looked at um, the places where we can assign default uh, destinations. Next, um, and also we looked at how to use the template destination. So next, uh, now for this um, demo, I'm going to demo how to create a ADC uh, receipt and then end up uh, generating the receipt, the label. The, the the label will be sent to the printer okay uh, so um, the final two steps I need to look at for label printing purposes are under setup uh, purchasing and entry transactions receipts so here I would select the entry transaction that I'm using for ADC receipts so under here, if you go to the stock tab, you have a section called printing. So under here, you need to select the option stock labels. And once you select, you can also check the number of copies and save and validate the entry transaction. Once you do that, uh, the final step is to go to the products. So under common data, the product that we are going to receive in you select the product and go to the uh, so the product I'm using is BMS 113 and go to the unit of measures tab and make sure you have a stock label format assigned here so one more thing I would like to mention while I'm here is that uh, suppose you have um, a product unit of measure um, where the stock unit is in each is or in unit and you also have a purchase unit in a different unit of measure so let's say in cases okay and you have also th that particular purchase unit of measure is used on under the packing unit of measure so for here let's say we have a purchasing unit of cases and the packing unit of cases then as you can see here we need to set up the label format for that as well because what's going to happen is when you're going to receive in it's going to use the purchase unit of measure so the cases um, doesn't have a unit of sorry it doesn't have a label format therefore it will throw you an error message therefore to prevent um, getting that error message I would recommend you to add a label format under the packing unit that is equivalent to the purchasing unit but if you are not using any packing unit then you can uh, disregard that okay um, so uh, next step so next since we covered all the basics the setup wise let's go to uh, ADC so I have another tab open for ADC so here we can I have selected the transaction and I'm going to receive in a direct receipt so pick the supplier pick the product name the unit quantity status supplier lot and then number of copies tab so now I'm ready to click OK and then create so when I hit OK, you and uh, you can see down here where I have the send to OneNote open, the print spool. So you can see a line just pop up briefly. So that means that the label has been sent to the destination. Okay, so that's kind of a test to see whether it's working or not. So I'll click OK. And here you, you can see that it just appeared briefly and that so that's it got create sent to the destination and then now I can click create so when, when I click create you can see the receipt number uh, cre said created so this uh, in order to get this message um, we have to activate the uh, the trace option under the user so 
profile. So I said OK. All right, so that's it. So once it's done, it's printed and everything is good. So I hope um, you were able to um, follow what I'm trying to say here to generate a default destination by user and then um, print a label um, in the ADC print um, uh, ADC receipts. And thank you. Thank you for uh, listening and have a good day.